Last night, you and the boys went out to the local pub. After a few drinks, you talk of finally pushing the oppressors off your land by force. So, you dig up some rusty World War II rifles, stole some money from your grandma, and recruited a couple of your lads to liberate your land. But, you forgot one crucial part. Where do you even start? From these humble beginnings, you are expected to build an army from scratch and defeat two well-equipped, well-trained, and modernized armies. Well, today, I'm going to show you how to get started in Anastasi. In the early game, equipment will be your biggest struggle. You will need to equip yourself and eventually your soldiers to fight your oppressors. For now, take a basic rifle, a pistol, and a bunch of grenades. Wear civilian clothes so you can be undercover. And make sure that your pistols and grenades can fit in the backpack. This way, you can be armed while undercover. Make sure to load your weapons, then save the preset in the arsenal for easy access. Once you have your kit, buy yourself a nice truck and bring a loot crate. We are going hunting for police. Police are enemies who can usually be found patrolling in pairs around towns. They have basic equipment like vests and SMGs. Not the best, but you have to start somewhere. Police are an easy way to get some quick gear. Run over a patrol, take their SMGs and vests, and load them into the car. Make sure to use your loot crate for quick gathering. Deposit the loot at your HQ, and always persist and save every time you get back to your headquarters. After you get a couple of vests and weapons under your belt, use that newfound equipment for a step up the food chain. Checkpoints. Across the map, there are five man fire teams blocking roads with vehicles, usually mounted with an MG. These are risky, but it is well worth the risk. You'll find them by simply driving around the roads, particularly the highways. Once you've found one, go undercover and find a firing position. Barring there is none, you can always use your truck. They usually won't fire on you until you pull out a weapon, attempt to pass the checkpoint, or throw a grenade. Unfortunately, in this example, the checkpoint vehicle does not have a machine gun but I will still tackle the checkpoint the same way as if it had one. Once you are ready, go for the gunner on the MG, then throw grenades at the enemy from behind cover and mount them up with your SMG. Here, I chose a poor position where I could not throw grenades well and my line of sight was blocked by trees, but I managed. Once you've mopped up the enemies and got this neat message, you know it's okay to start looting. And just like that, you now have some great military gear and hopefully a big machine gun to kill enemies from range. With your new equipment, life is going to be much easier. The weapons and vehicles differ from each faction, hence the vagueness, but generally the heavy machine guns should be powerful enough to kill enemies in just one or two shots, even at long ranges. I love to patrol around towns with them and get the enemy to send quick reaction forces to grind loot and also to convince the locals to join my side. Do missions like kill the trader, city supplies, Convoy ambushes, and refugee evacuation for the money, HR, and loot. From here on, your objectives should be 1. Get more equipment, particularly you are going to want infinite rifles, helmets, and vests, both for you and your army. This will give your guys a fighting chance against the enemy. Always carry a loot crate with you and loot everything you can. 2. HR. There's no point in having equipment if there is no one to use it. Do missions and kill enemies near towns to win their support. 3. Money Missions are a great way of getting money in the early game when you do not have resources or factories. Later down the line, these will be some of your first targets for expansion. Once you have checked all these boxes, we can start to think about acquiring some real estate for our growing resistance. But that's for another video. See you next time.